Well, hey guys, I got about an hour between now and the next meeting I have to get on, so I figured why not get out in the lawn and show you guys uh, how it's coming along. I think the last update I gave you was um, showing the state of the lawn around March 6th, thereabouts, and the lawn has progressed quite a bit. Today is March 17th or 18th, something like that. So I want to take a few minutes and show you guys how she's coming along. Hey, the lawn is really starting to come in really nicely as far as color. Look, you see how much green we got going on there. There's still obviously some dormant spots here and there, but overall looking really good. If we take a look at Alex's lawn, Bandy strip is looking really good. His lawn is also starting to come in as well too. I put down the carbon kit on his lawn. I remember I was using this section of the lawn here as a control area. And now that we've kind of established like, you know, what kind of results you can really get with that carbon kit and turfplex. I, uh, I went ahead and put some down on his lawn as well. So you can see how it's really starting to come in uh, nicely. Guys, we had a ton of rain here this morning. Actually, I'll cut to that now. You guys can see it was like a torrential downpour. Um, probably five, six hours ago. It was around 1030 in the morning. And if you, you saw the, the weather now, you wouldn't believe it. It's the weather's absolutely gorgeous. But the downside of that is this mess. So if you guys live in the south, you guys know what I'm looking at here. All these zebra stripes, all the, the dead grass clippings all over the place, the big mess that it makes. I mean, it's not a, uh, a fun thing to have to deal with. So I'm gonna have to get out here with my broom. Probably not today. Probably be um, tomorrow before I'm able to go out and do that because it's, the grass is kind of soggy right now. And I don't want, if I got out there now, it would just make a huge mess. So I want to show you guys just how uh, how it's coming in. Overall though, guys, the, the color is really, really nice. I mean, the best part looking part of the lawn right now is over here on this right side. Look how, look how nice and lush and beautiful that green is. Really, really happy with that. So, oh, on other notes, uh, something cool came in the mail today. It's actually sitting right behind me. You guys take a look at it. My 25 pounds of Arden 15 finally arrived. The nice people at Hancock Seed uh, got some in, so I called them ordered it, gave them a bunch of money, and uh, yesterday it showed up. So that's probably not gonna go down until when? Mm, May-ish? May is when I'll probably go down on the lawn. I need soil temps to be above uh, 65 degrees consistently before I do that. And I'll, I'll be putting it down at a rate of two pounds thereabouts per thousand. So 25, 000, a 25 pound bag will cover easily 12,000 square feet. And uh, overall, not bad, man. You, you can see the areas of the lawn where RN15 really took. I apologize for all the wind noises. It's still kind of gusty from um, from the storm from earlier. But you can see the areas where the RN15 took really, really well, like all these spots all out here, how nice and green that is. And then as we get to the, this parts of the lawn where water tends to run, like you can see like this gray area right in here, this browner area, that's, that's where whenever this rains really, really heavily, uh, that, that this whole section here turns into a swimming pool as is evidenced by, I can punch out there and you guys can see it. You guys can see like all the zebra stripes all along there, like all those, all these grass clippings all along this area here. That's like that whole area turns into a swimming pool temporarily whenever uh, the rain comes down like uh, like crazy. So, but eh, gotta deal with it, right? That's uh, that's all life. That's all part of uh, a Bermuda grass lawn. Like I said, I'll get out here uh, probably tomorrow if it dries up enough to clean it all up and then I might mow and uh, that'll be it. You know, I'm done uh, as far as probably with fertilizer for this month. Uh, I, I sprayed two days ago my second application of, um, of Turfplex, so I'm good on that for the month. The Humic uh, Max fertilizer has also gone down on the, on the lawn at a rate of three pounds per thousand. So we are good on nitrogen and on granular and liquid nitrogen until uh, sometime in April, good to go. For those of you guys that also uh, picked up the Golf Course Academy, like that signed up for it. I want to tell you guys all thank you, I appreciate that. It was launched today, this morning. And for those of you guys that were like chomping at the bit, as soon as I sent the email out, several of you guys that have been asking me when it's gonna be ready, signed up. So I really appreciate that. Thank you guys so much for uh, for that. And if you guys wanna, you know, be around and see how this craziness develops, uh, definitely like and subscribe to the channel. I've got some some cool plans for the, uh, for the lawn this year. It's probably gonna get another light top just around the time whenever I do the overseeding. So if you wanna see that in excruciating detail, I, I might be able to work out something cool as far as the material I'm gonna be using to top dress this year. So if you wanna see that, you gotta subscribe, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have an amazing day.